Welcome back. It's time for the Financial Week. Trans-Jamaican Highway recorded a 15% dip in traffic last year due mainly to work from home and curfew orders under protocols to reduce the spread of COVID-19. The company, in a release today, said it conducted 20 conducted 20.6 million toll transactions last year, compared to 24 million in 2019. The traffic peaked last month at 90,000 per day, but for the entire year, the average was 56,000 vehicles per day. The reserves jumped above the 3 billion US dollar mark in December. The Bank of Jamaica said the reserves rose 163 million US dollars to 3 billion 126 million dollars. At that level, it was able to purchase just over a year of imports. Now, currency trading ended with the US dollar selling for $143.54. The Canadian dollar is selling for $112.91. The pound sterling costs $195.35, while the euro is now going for $178.71. Now, Carib Cement says it reached a new record in production last year as the construction industry stayed strong in the pandemic. The cement producers say production reached the, rec the historic record of more than 940,000 tons and promised to continue ramping up production to meet demand. The production responded to a 7% jump in construction activities. It said it could have surpassed the 1 million metric ton mark in production had it not been for heavy rainfall and power outage which interrupted production in, late, in the late part of last year. Now, the JSE index dipped more than 705 points today, while the junior market index lost 14. The best performers were Siboney Group, Salada Foods, Proven Investments, US dollar shares, Stationery and Office Supplies, and Mayberry Investments. The worst performers were CAC 2000, Blue Power, 138 Student Living, JMMB Group, 7.5% preference shares, and Alaska Financial Group. And we take another break. International stories when we return.